Hey, it's Steve Economides from MoneySmartFamily.com and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of ways to paint a trash picked headboard. One way that worked great, one way that didn't work at all. A trash picked headboard. I'm going to sand it down and repaint it and put it into our guest room. And uh, that's real pretty. <laughs> it's maple. But it's been spray painted and hand painted, and we'll see how it turns out. First step was to sand down the headboard. I didn't want to take it down to raw wood. I used 220 grit sandpaper to give the paint a little bit of tooth, but also to take down the blobs of paint uh, from the painting of the words. Then I started uh, sanding down the turquoise side, and that side had been painted with a brush. And so it was pretty thick, and there were brush strokes and things I had to get down. Uh, but with the 220 grit sandpaper and a little bit of time, I was able to smooth it out. Then it was time to do the inside portion, the, the big portion of the headboard. And there were two where there were blobs of paint, but the 220 grit sandpaper worked really good. And it took about two hours of sanding to get both sides prepped for paint. Then I pulled out a can of paint that we had been given. Uh, we were trying to minimize our cost and see what we could do without spending any money. Now we could have spray painted, that would have been real easy. Instead we chose to use this uh, Disney paint that we've been given. And I put it on with a brush, a good brush, uh, and it was just going on real thick and streaky and I just didn't like the look. So I had to try something else. It just wasn't covering well. up. So I remembered that I had a 40-year-old cache airbrush sitting in the garage and I pulled it out along with my compressor. I diluted the paint one part water, two parts paint, and I measured it out in a little um, medicine measuring cup, and it worked phenomenally. Uh, this was when I was just starting. It wasn't going on as thick as I wanted, so I had to make some adjustments, but it sprayed on really nice, uh, went really smooth, and the end result is looks professional. This is acrylic paint, and one of the problems I ran into is if I left the airbrush sit, the acrylic paint dried inside the airbrush, and I had to take it apart and clean the, uh, the nozzle. So if you're going to use acrylic paint, you've got to keep working or you got to be ready to clean it out. Uh, so there's the finished headboard. Looks like it's factory painted. It is so smooth and beautiful, and uh, I'll show you in a second what it looks like in the room. It's another view of it. And it's just a slight cream color, and it looks perfect. From trash picked to a beautiful room in uh, about five hours. It's a great project. 